congratulations. You've defended your WBO featherweight title. Walk us through the fight, my man. I'm happy. I'm happy with the result. Great no. job, Thank today. you. Thank you. Um, I'm very happy with the result. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful with my team for for the support. I mean, Manny Robles and Edgar Hustle, we did a great job in the gym. You know, like my, my managers do their job. My father did his job. I mean, with simple words, my dad could tell me a lot. So I'm very happy. I'm very happy with the result. And you know, let's keep on doing it. Please. And how, how tough was that kid, Asawa? Because how tough was that kid, Asawa? Because he took nothing but punishment. Hey, go rest. Enjoy yourself. Deserve it. That kid, that kid took nothing but punishment. Hey, I knew he was gonna be tougher than what people think. You know, he's a hard hitting fighter, and um, as soon as I hit him with my first shots, I knew I was gonna stop him. My mentality was I'm going out 12 rounds with him. But you know, good thing I, I stopped it. I mean, yeah, I'm so happy when that happened. And, you know, the featherweight division is wide open. Is there any fighter you want to call out at the moment? Nobody right now in my, in my mind, you know, there's, there's a lot of fighters. I don't want to miss his name. Right. Because I got nothing personal with these fighters. I just, I want to be considered the best. Whoever they consider the best, is, is, uh, I, would, I would fight them. Uh, there's a lot of good fights that can be made in 2017. I'll take whatever. Let's talk about your uh, stablemate, Jesse Magdaleno. He just won the WBO Junior Featherweight Championship of the World against another great fighter, I'm so happy. I'm Donaire. so happy for him. I'm so happy for him because I've seen... The hard work he put in the gym with my trainers, sweat, dedication, he did everything. He made it weight well. Um, he just, I, I feel so happy for him, happy for him because he just proves that hard work pays off. Yeah. He, did, he didn't be no, he didn't be just a nobody. He didn't be a guy that, like in my case, like a lot of people don't know him. He be Don't Need there, which which deserves a lot of respect because he's still he's still Don't Need though. He's still a, uh, right. a bad fighter. He's still he's still tough. It was Jesse, a good fight. Jesse, did a good job, so I want to congratulate Donito, but yeah, congratulate Jesse Magdalena. I can't wait to see him. I haven't seen him yet. Right. I can't wait to see him and yell out and the new. <laughs> and you know, Manny Robles, your trainer, is excited about getting back into camp, having two of his new champions, preparing for another fight. <laughs> you know, he's got his. He's got his junior featherweight champion of the world and now featherweight champion of the world. I mean, I'm both so WBOs. I said you, you heard this first from me. He's gonna be the trainer of the year because not because of us. So we right. forget about that because if we give it 100, percent he gives it 110. percent He takes no days off. If I take a Sunday off, he has another fighter out there. And then not because I'm a world champion, he gives more time to me. He gives the same dedication to all of his fighters. That's what I admire much about Daniel Robles. Thank you.